girls share the book with us from story mythal today we are going to present a skit called the day the crayons quit written by drew dywald illustrated by oliver jeffers hey duncan it's me red crayon we need to talk you make me work harder than any of the other crayons all you know i ran myself out I am James Apples strawberries and everything else that's red I even work on holidays I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day I need a rest. Overworked friend, red crayon. Yeah, Duncan. All right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizards' hats. But it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the line. If you don't start coloring inside the lines, soon I'm going to completely lose it. Yeah, very neat friend, purple crayon. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I'm neither. I'm beige and I'm proud. It's not fair that brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies, while the only things I get are turkey dinners. If I'm lucky, I'm weak. And let's be honest. When was the last time you saw a kid? Excited about coloring week. Your page friend, page crayon. Duncan, grey crayon here. You are killing me. I know you love elephants, and I know elephants are grey, but that's too much space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos. Humpback whales. You know how tired I am after coloring one of those big things. Such big animals, like baby penguins, are grey. You know, so are very tiny rocks, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? You are very tired, friend. Grey crayon. Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things, things that are covered in the other colors, all of which think they are brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice big boy, filling the colors of the boy with the crayons. Uh, How about the black big boy sometimes? Is it too much to ask? No offense, black man. Duncan, as green crayon, I'm writing for two reasons. One is that I like my workloads of coloring things green, like crocodiles, dinosaurs, and frog. I would also like to congratulate you on coloring things green, crayon so far. The second reason I'm writing is for my friends, yellow crayon and orange crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. They both feel that they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon. They're driving the rest of us crazy. Happy friend, Green Crayon. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. Don't you tell Orange Crayon? I am the color of the sun. I would. You can't. We are no longer talking. Last last Tuesday, you used you used me to color in the sun in a Happy Farm book. I'm shining that brightly. I'm 
You can't miss me, yellow crayon. Dear Duncan, I see yellow crayon already talked to you. The big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we are no longer speaking. We both know that I am clearly the color of the sun because on Thursday, you used me to color the sun on both the monkey island and the meet the zookeeper pages in your day at the zoo coloring book. Yellow, you glad I'm here? Ha! Your pal and the real color of the sun, orange crayon. Hey, Duncan. It's been great being your favorite color this past year and the year before that. I really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is I'm so short and stubby, I can't even see out the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. I quit. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. Duncan. Okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year because you think I'm a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister. I said thank you for using me in her little princess cousin book. I think she has done a fabulous job to stay inside the lines. Now back to us. Could you please use me sometimes to color occasional pink or dinosaur or a monster or a cowboy? Goodness knows they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend pink crayon. <laughs>